So Sean Fain is, of course, a union leader. He's the head of the UAW. He's made quite a name for himself recently. Um, he went to Congress to testify in front of this committee. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think this may have been at Bernie Sanders' hearing on the 32-hour work week. So Bernie Sanders proposed a bill, 32-hour work week, basically four-day work week. Big rollout, so a bunch of articles about it. To my surprise, I'm happy that there's all these articles about it. Usually good ideas are proposed and nobody ever talks about them and then they die quickly, right? Uh, no, this is making a little bit of a splash. So I think he's speaking at this. And um, man, he's going to utter some things in this committee hearing that uh, people in the Senate maybe have never heard. He's going to go hard in the paint, son. And uh, he's really going to lay it down. So let's watch and then we'll, we'll break it down. Many in this room will say, they'll say, People just don't want to work, or working class people are lazy. But the truth is, working class people aren't lazy, they're fed up. They're fed up with being left behind and stripped of dignity as wealth inequality in this nation, this world spirals out of control. They're fed up that in America, in America, three families have as much wealth as the bottom 50% of citizens in this nation. That is criminal. America is better than this. So I want to close with this. I agree there is an epidemic in this country of people who don't want to work. People who can't be bothered to get up every day and contribute to our society, but instead want to freeload off the labor of others. But those aren't blue collar people. Those aren't working class people. It's a group of people who are never talked about for how little they actually work and produce and how little they contribute to humanity. The people I'm talking about are the Wall Street freeloaders, the masters of passive income. Those who profit off the labor of others have all the time in the world. While those who make this country run, the people who build the products and contribute to labor, have less and less time for themselves, for their families, and for their lives. Damn, son. Woo! He flipped that narrative right on its head. Oh, you want to talk about parasites? You want to talk about moochers? You want to talk about freeloaders? Oh, I'm your Huckleberry. I'll tell you who fits that category and fits it just right. Damn, Sean Fain. So, look, I mean, you guys know, I've talked about this on the show before, but uh, I hope, I don't think it's going to happen, but I hope it's going to happen that Jon Stewart went back to The Daily Show, he's doing a show, he's doing a great job over there, and that, you know, Maybe he'll throw his hat in the ring for the next election because, sorry, but we've now, we're through the looking glass, right? And, and we're at the point now where one of the things, one of the only things that can make the media pay attention to a real lefty is if they're an A-list celebrity, if they're a comedian, if they're somebody who uses controversy um, to their ends. And that's what Jon Stewart is. You know, in order for a lefty to actually win, it needs to be somebody who's undeniable, like a senator or an A-list celebrity. Maybe you get away with a B-list celebrity. But even a congressperson, that ain't going to fly, right? Like, we need to elbow our way into the room. The way to do that is to have somebody who's undeniable. So I would love it if Jon Stewart ran in 2028. I don't think it's going to happen. I would love to see it happen. But if it's not Jon Stewart, sweet Jesus, this man right here, I hope he does it, right? I hope he does it. Because he has consistently shown that he's all about this union life. And, um, I mean, this guy, I have no doubt he'd be like FTR when it comes to economic stuff. I have no doubt about it. None. None. He's a fighter. He's not afraid to get in the mud and fling it. I think he runs circles around most of the people who step to him. Here he is, totally flipping the, like, welfare queen narrative on its head, the freeloader narrative on its head. And saying, yeah, I got some freeloaders for you. They're called multimillionaires and billionaires. They're the problem. They're the masters of passive income. You know what passive income is? My money makes money. I invest it, and then it does the work itself, and then I sit on my ass, collect it, and guess what? Oh, look at that. I only happened to pay a 14% tax rate, whereas your ass is working all day every day, five days a week, and you have to pay 30% in taxes. Huh. Would you look at that? So I don't have to work. My money makes money. And I pay a lower tax rate. How is that fair? It's not fair. Everybody knows it's not fair. Calling out the extreme income and wealth inequality that we have in this country. Guys, 
These aren't just inevitable facts of nature that we have to accept. These are things that are policy choices. These are things that can be changed. You just have to have the will to change them and then execute on that front. That's what it is. And we don't have the will to change it because, unfortunately, our politicians are all bought by multinational corporations and billionaires and the same people he's going after, the same people that own the politicians, so they rig the laws in their favor. That's the reality. And so here he is. Again, I think this was in the 32-hour uh, work week hearing. Um, I think he's arguing in favor of it. But uh, he got a great pot shot in there at the Wall Streeters and the billionaires. And this is what we need to revive. Certainly moving into 2028, this is what we need to revive. And so he's a great, if it's not John Stewart, homie's a great option. Um, but, you know, I've seen a lot of people like him who sort of get swallowed up by the system and spit out. And Lord only knows what kind of dirt they have on him. And they got a million tricks up their sleeve. But hopefully not a glove is laid on this man because he's on to something. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.